Hi, my name is Grace Masala. I play on the Cuban women's soccer team, and I'm Tanzanian. I started off mostly with basketball, but then I decided to pursue soccer full time, and it's been that ever since. Um, I think just believing in myself has been the biggest part, especially during my recruiting process. There was not a lot of coaches who did believe in me, and just that willingness to just kind of bet on myself is what I think really uh, pushed. I played a year up with Calgary Blizzards, so when all the O1s were getting scouted, it wasn't necessarily my year to be scouted, so a bunch of coaches were overlooking me or didn't really believe in me at the time. And Dean was the only coach, I was 16 at the time, who really did give me a shot, and there was two other schools interested in me who I uh, wanted to go play for, didn't really get that, um, the chance to, to sign with them. And playing them in my rookie year, kind of had that chip on my shoulder because I did want to prove them wrong and that they should have believed in me at the time. And not necessarily about proving them wrong, it's about just showing who you are as a person and as an athlete. I think I'm one of very few lucky enough that I haven't really personally experienced any direct racial barriers that I have faced. So I definitely am grateful for that experience, but I'm, I also know people who have. And it's always just about educating other people about these situations and how we can move forward. People unlearning their unconscious biases is big time. Because um, sometimes those do create unfair advantages that negatively impact not just black athletes, but people of color as well. Not really seeing many people who look like me, I kind of not necessarily feel a responsibility, but I guess want to make my community proud and seeing black athletes shine at the top. It's, can't imagine how these little kids are feeling or even if an athlete's in grade 12 looking at me, for example, and they look like me, I just think that could be inspirational for them. I guess in that way I have a role model for them. This doesn't only just go for young black athletes, but just young athletes in general. Like I said earlier, just to continue to bet on yourself and to believe in yourself, I think that's the biggest thing because there will be coaches, other people in your life who may not believe in you, but if you continue to have that belief in yourself, sky's the limit.